Hi, I'm Charlotte. Thank you for joining me for practice today. This is a body conditioning uh, yoga flow. So some of it is quite advanced, some of it is quite challenging. Uh, there is an inversion at the end, a um, shoulder stand into plow pose. So if you don't already safely have that into your practice, I'd advise you probably wait till we're back in the studio and you've got a, uh, an advanced teacher or practitioner there to assist you in getting there. Um, otherwise, enjoy, drink water when you wish, make sure you've got lots of space. Um, yeah, um, happy yoga in. Okay, let's get started. So, sitting nice and comfortably, nice comfortable cross legged position to begin. Just lengthen through your spine. Let the head just float on top, shoulders down and back. Take a deep breath here. And again, just breathe in and out through the nose. Maybe starting to connect with your ujjayi breath. On your next breath in, let's take the arms up, breathe in, let's take them up. Breathing out, so open. And again, just easing in gently. And one more like this. Now just the right arm, breathe in, taking it up. Exhale as we lean over the left side, just waking up and opening up the side body. And change, breathing up. Exhale, leaning over the second side. Inhale, both up. Then exhale as you twist to your right, looking over the right shoulder. Inhale, centre and up. Exhale to the left. Nice, gentle twist, ease it in. Centre and up. Exhale the hands down to heart centre, clasp the fingers, give the wrist a roll. <sighs> Preparing then for gentle weight bearing to come. Although we don't want to put too much pressure on the wrists when we're doing those exercises. Fabulous, really. From there, just tilt the right ear down to right shoulder, reach left arm away. Breathe in, centre up. Exhale, other way. And back to centre. And let's just do a couple of seated cat cow here. So breathe in as we look up towards the ceiling, drawing the elbows back. Exhale, let the hands slide forward as the chin comes down. Draw the rib cage back, draw the abdominals back. And again, inhale up. Exhale, cat. Two more, inhale, exhale back, easing in the spine, one more time, inhale up, exhale back. Come back to your neutral, sitting up tall, just roll out the shoulders, ah, easy, and the other way. Fabulous. And from there, let's just come on to all fours. So finding your all four position. Oh. Wrists of the hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Another couple of cat cow here, breathe in to look up. Exhale, curve under, tilt the pelvis in, lift the abdominals up, and again, inhale, and exhale. And then come back to neutral. Reach the right arm forward. Far forward as it will go, staying on your mat. Breathe in. Exhale, draw back. Hips back. Left elbow comes to the mat. And come back up. Bring the arm in. 
step inside, left arm up, forward side, breathe in. Exhale, draw back. Enjoy the stretch in the shoulder and come back to neutral. From here, take right foot back, breathe in. And exhale as you press the heel back, getting a nice little stretch in the calf muscle. Inhale, release. Exhale, press back one more time. Bring it back in. Second side, breathe in. Exhale as you press the calf muscle back, the heel back. Inhale, release. Exhale, press. Come back to neutral. From there, tuck toes under, press up to your first down dog. And just take a little pedal through the heels. Easing in gently, working through the balls of the feet here. Hmm. Easing the body in. Ooh, maybe have a little movement. Use the hips if you wish. And relax the head and neck. And from there, just bending the knees, walking the feet forward to the front of your mat. Bend deeper so the belly rests on the thighs and slowly unroll. Roll out the shoulders when you get to standing. Wonderful. This is a bit mat slipping on the carpet, but that's yoga in lockdown for you, isn't it? So, mountain pose then. Nice and tall at the front of your mat. So lifting the toes, spreading them out, placing them back down, draw the knees and thighs up. Abdominals nice and activated, shoulders down and back, pelvis still underneath so we're not overarching the back here. Lengthen through the spine. Take a deep breath in, the arms come up. Breathing out as we forward fold, bend in the knees, hands come down, inhale as we go to gazing. Bend a bit further, take the right leg back. Followed by the left, and then we exhale as we lower the knees, chest and chin, elbows back. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, toes under, down dog. Let's just do three breaths, breathing in. Two. And again, you can move here, it doesn't have to be static. Breathing, three. When you're inhale, inhale to look forward. Step the right leg to the front of the mat, followed by the left. Exhale as you gently fold. Inhale as we spread the wings to come all the way up. Exhale, open, on the left, breathing in. And out. And into gaze. Then left leg leads this time, followed by the right. Exhale as we lower knees, chest, chin. Inhale, glide through cobra or up dog. Exhale, toes under down dog. Breathing deep again, three breaths. From there, inhale to up. Left leg steps, followed by the right. Exhale as you forward fold, bend the knees as much as you wish. Inhale to come all the way up. Exhale to open, and again, breathing in. And out to fold. Inhale to gaze. Bend, right leg leads, nice long lunge, followed by the left. Exhale as you lower, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, glide through. Exhale, toes under, down dog. Three breaths, breathing one, two, three. Inhale to look, right leg steps, followed by the left. Exhale to fold, bend as much as you want here. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale to open, and again, breathing in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, gaze. Exhale as we bend the knees, take the feet back, lower knees, chest, chin. Inhale, glide through. Exhale, 
exhale, toes under down dog. Three deep breaths. Really using those deep breaths to create heat within the body. Deep Ujjayi. And there, breathe into look. Left leg steps. Followed by the right as we come through. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, open. Slight variation then. Here we go. Breathing in. Take the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, gaze. Then step one leg back. Followed by the other. And then exhale as we lower knees, chest, chin. Inhale as we push back up. Exhale, lower two. Inhale up. Three. Inhale up. Just two more. Four. Inhale up. Five. Inhale up. Well done. Triceps nice and warm. Slowly come down. Inhale to come through. Exhale to come all the way up to down dog. Really lovely. From there, move the right heel up to the ceiling. Stretch the right foot, bring it all the way through. Plant the back foot. Then on the inhale, find your way up to warrior one. Breathing nice and deep here. Have a little peek down, make sure you can see the big toe. So the knee's not rolling in there, keeping that strong alignment. Plant in the back foot, lengthen in behind the back knee. Gorgeous, breathe in. Exhale to come all the way down through your vinyasa. Inhale, up to cobra, up dog. Exhale, toes under to down dog. Find a nice, strong, stable down dog. Inhale, left foot up. Stretch the foot, bring it all the way through. Second side, so plant the back foot on your inhale. Breathe in. Come all the way up to your warrior one. Second side. Think of the energy going high, even though the pelvis is going low here. And again, check your alignment, knee over the heel. And breathe. You can either look up or forward, it's up to you. Breathing in. Exhale as we come all the way down, stepping the foot back, knees lower, chest and chin. Inhale through. Exhale, toes under to down dog. Gorgeous start, everybody. From there, bring right heel up, stretch the foot, bring it all the way through. Stay in a nice long lunge here. If you do need to lower the knee, of course that's okay. It's your practice. So, place the left hand down here and then open the right arm up to the ceiling for a nice long line for a gorgeous twist and breathe deep. Again, although it's a nice long low lunge, think of the energy going high. From there, bring the hand down. Now lower the knee, if you haven't already, onto the toes. Hands come up to the thigh, breathe in, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, let the hip come forward. So that nice hip flexor stretch. You can keep the hands on the thigh if you want, just give you a bit more support. Or you can take the arms up to the ceiling. It's your choice, do what feels nice. Challenging, but nice. Breathing in and breathe out. Bring the hands to the mat. Tuck toes under on the back leg. Lift the back knee and then step back to your plank. Exhale as we lower. Knees, chest, chin or full body if you wish. Inhale through. Exhale, toes under. Down dog. Again, find that nice, strong, stable position first. Breathe the left heel up. Stretch the left foot, bring it all the way through. Find a long lunge, second side. So again, knee above the heel on the front foot, pushing the back heel back. Right hand comes down, this time the left arm comes up. 
creating that lovely long line through the arms and shoulders, drawing the shoulder blades closer together. And you take the gaze high if that feels okay. As always, you have to do postures how suit your body. Yeah, we're all different, we've all got our own anatomy. So do it how it suits you. From there, you bring the hands down, lower the knee if you haven't already, onto the toes, hands to thigh. Breathe in, come up, shoulders down and back. And just enjoy that hip flexor stretch. This time, you can either leave the hands where they are, take them up, or you can take them down behind the back, clasping the hands like Charlie's Angels, getting the fingers down, and draw the shoulder blades closer together, breathing deep. If this feels too much on the pelvis, just release use your hands to support. And whichever position you're in with the hands, Really bring them down to the mat, tuck toes under, lift that knee, breathe in, set that plank again. We're going to hold here for five deep breaths, breathing one, two, three, four, and five. Breathing in. Exhale as you lower knees, chest, chin, or full body. If you can hover, inhale through. Exhale, toes under, down dog. Well done, gang. So from here, we're going to do a bit of core. Just really prepared it with the plank. Lift the heels, lower the knees, so you come back to all four. Okay, from here, heels underneath the hands. Draw the tummy in, activated nice and tight here. Knees should be underneath the hips. And I want you to try to keep your body as static as you can here in the centre as we move through our limbs. So as we did earlier, extend the right leg back and then lift to in line with the body, okay? And find your stability here and either stay here or reach left arm forward, so opposite arm to leg, breathe in. As you breathe out, draw the knee and the elbow together. Inhale, extend. Exhale together, that's two. Inhale, extend. Exhale together, three. Inhale, extend. Four. And again, five. Slow and control. Next, inhale, six. Yeah. Really sweet together. Inhale, seven. Exhale together. We're aiming for 10 on each side. Eight. Nine. One more. After number 10, try not to just drop. Try and reach the foot and the hand away from each other. Find that extension. Then release down. Maybe give the hips a little wiggle. Do what you need to do to just ease off. And then we'll go second side. So, extend left foot behind you and lift the heel. Find stability here first. You can decide if you want to stay here or go that bit further. And you don't have to do all 10. Do what suits you. So, breathe in to reach hand and foot away. Exhale in to crunch one. And two, three, inhale to reach, four, exhale to crunch, six, seven, eight, Thinking about that extension, extension every time. Nine. Ten. Remember, finish with that full extension, find length, carefully release, ease off. And then from there, open the knees and just relax back. 
in child's pose. Head down in front of you, arms can either be in front or one potato, two potato under the forehead. That really helps the upper body to relax. Do what feels nice for you. Let's take a moment here, re energize. And then from there, find your way back onto all fours. Tuck toes under, press back to down dog. Mm, well done. And from here, looking forward and step in, or you can jump if you wish. The feet back to the front of your mat. Exhale as we fold. Inhale to come all the way up. Exhale, draw the hands down to heart center. And shake it out. Well done. So we'll continue on. Finding your mountain pose again. Hmm. Strong stance to begin. And from there, just find a focus point in front of you. Lengthen through your body. Find your balance. And then from there, take the right foot back behind you. Okay, breathe in, take the arms up. And exhale as you slowly hinge forward. We're aiming to go to warrior three. That doesn't have to be full posture. You can just lift the foot up a little bit, or you can do the full to find the T pose. You can bend the standing leg if that helps. You can bring the hands to heart center if it's there. Do what feels right for you. Take your time. It's always much harder on carpet and a mat. If you need to do this by a wall or step off your mat to do it, that's fine as well. And very slowly come all the way up. Without releasing the foot, bring the knee in front of you. Bend the knee, inhale, and then exhale, extend the leg. Breathing one. To really build the strength, two, three, four, one more breath, five, and bend in, carefully release, shake it out. Well done. So let's do second side. So again, find your strong stance and release the left leg. Find your focus point, which gets much more challenging as we hinge over. Breathe in, take your arms up. Exhale as you slowly Find your way, hinging from the hips, keeping a nice long body to warrior three. You can bring the hands to heart center if you prefer. You can take them behind you, up to you. Yoga should be fun. You should be able to experiment and play in your posture. So do which works for you today. Take your time. Use the breath, use the focus, slowly find your way back to standing, bringing the knee up in front of you, hands to hips. Breathe in, extend the leg, breathing one. Try and keep the body up tall, two. It's really easy to lean back in this. Breathing three, four, and one more breath, five. Carefully bend in and release. Fabulous, shake out. Okay, let's continue. Ah, mountain pose, we're gonna go through warrior two variation, which is beautiful, okay? So tall at the front of your mat, let's take the right leg back. So straight into that nice lunge. From here, left foot, make sure the knee is above the heel and turn the back foot out then so the hips and the body are facing the side of the mat. Okay, but then take the arms up to shoulder height, breathe in, breathe out and press into the posture and look far and beyond the fingertips then. So drushti, the gaze is forward, although the body is facing the side of the mat, breathing deep. Okay, from here, inhale, take the 
Left arm up to reverse warrior. Exhale to bring the elbow to the thigh. Right arm over the top and then reverse. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, hinge over. Three more. Inhale up. Exhale over. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale over. Keeping that nice strong stance of the legs. Inhale up. Exhale over. And now hold here. And a lovely wide side angle warrior pose. Beautiful work. Really feel the heat building in the thigh. Nice long back leg as well. Long extension from the top fingertips to the back heel. Then carefully bring the arms up. Oh, and lengthen the leg. Fab triangle. Breathe in to reach forward. Exhale as we tilt over. Creating that long line from the shoulder blades, the shoulders, the arms. You can rest the hand on the thigh. Or you can turn the palm forward. Or you might even reach the underneath foot. Breathing deep. Try and keep the pelvis in line. So, in a voice, try not to let the bottom sit back. Keep that top shoulder blade drawing down, opening the chest. And then when you're ready, you can either stay there, or you can take the top arm over for a really advanced, challenging triangle. Looking under the shoulder blade, then take the arm back up. And then carefully lift the body. Ah, oh, beautiful. Bend the knee just to release. Fab. Lengthen it again. Release the arms. Roll the shoulders out. And this time we're just going to reverse the feet. Okay. Bend that back foot. Make sure body side onto the mat. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale. Press into warrior two, second side. Looking beyond the fingertips. Really nice. Okay, so here we go. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, bring the elbow down, arm over the top. Lovely, we've got five. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. Exhale. Just two more, inhale, exhale over, inhale, exhale over. This time we'll stay again working on length of that side body, fingertips away from the heel, drawing that top shoulder back. Fabulous. Really nice and carefully release and float up. Lengthen the leg for our triangle. Breathing to reach from the hips. Exhale to fold. Looking up if that feels okay. You can rest the hand on the chin. Turn the palm forward. A bit more advanced can bring it down to the foot or the mat. Really nice, remember. Working the shoulder blade back, but keeping the arms in line. Keeping the bottom in underneath you. If you really want, you can take the advanced posture. Arm over the head is a challenge. Please don't worry if you're not there with me today. Really nice work. Then ease off. Slowly float back up, breathing. Exhale, release. Lengthen again, release the arms, roll out them shoulders. And then turn both feet to face the side of the mat, but then take the toes to the corners. Okay, a bit more strength building in those legs, okay, so a hero variation. From here, inhale, bend the knees, take the arms up, lengthen, and then exhale as we come down to our hero squat. And again, inhale. Exhale, that's two, Raymond for ten. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale, five. Halfway, really great. Inhale. Exhale, six. 
Inhale. Exhale, step it. Inhale. Exhale, eight. Of course, knees above the heels here in line with the toes. Inhale. Exhale. Another one. Inhale. Exhale. Wonderful. Nice and deep. We're just going to hold here and take the arms out to 90 degree angles at the side and breathe deep. Great posture. Really great for strength building, stability, being grounded. Wonderful. And then inhale, reach up. Exhale, the hands through heart center. Amazing. Ah, wiggle if you need to, shake it off. And then from there, turn the feet so they're parallel, facing the side of the mat. We'll do a nice stretch here. So breathe in to look up. Exhale, as we hinge forward and we fold. Bringing the hands down to the mat if they reach. Or of course you can use a yoga block or book, whatever you have at home to rest the hands on. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale as you fold. Using the gorgeous sea breath. You can stay here with the hands or if you prefer, you can hug the big toes um, with the fingers and use that as a lever to draw down, lengthening the spine, top of the head towards the mat. Doesn't matter if it doesn't reach the mat. If it is reaching the mat, then by all means, bring the feet closer together so you've got more room to lengthen the spine down. From there, carefully release. Bring the hands to the hips, knees and thighs up strong. Bend the knees if you wish, tummy tight. If you carefully find your way back up. If you get a bit lightheaded, rest for a moment, please. Take your time. So I'm going to do the same again, but with a hand option. So you can either bring the hand to the elbows and draw the shoulder blades back. You can come into a reverse prayer position if that's an option for you. Or you can clasp the hands here, drawing the shoulder blades together. And then as you fold, the hands can leave the back and go over the head or in that direction. They might not. Okay. So from here, whichever hand position you want to do, find that. Breathe in, look up. Exhale as we fold. And breathing deep, whichever posture we're in. Whether you're holding the elbows, reverse prayer, or you clasp the hands, really work on opening the shoulders. Two more breaths. And then very slowly and carefully, draw knees and thighs up strong, tummy tight, slowly unroll. Release your arms, roll out the shoulders. Absolutely wonderful. Great work. Okay, ease off. Let's step to the front of the mat. Have a support, of course, if you wish at any time. And then refind your mountain pose. And we'll go through the vinyasa to the mat to do a bit of mat work before we finish. So, breathing in, take the arms up. Exhale to fold. Stay here. From here, take the feet to hip distance and hold on to the toes if you can reach them or use the back of the legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold over. Enjoy that stretch. If you prefer, you can hold on to the elbows instead. Use that breath. Remember in yoga, the breath is the best friend as that will help ease you into postures, help create energy and flow within our practice. From there, inhale to look up, release the hands. And bend the knees and either step or hop back to plank. Wonderful. From here, left hand to centre, right arm up. Side plank, lower the knee if you wish. Five breaths. Breathing one. Take the gaze up if you wish, two, 
three. Think about lifting that waist up as high as you can. Four. Really nice. Another breath. Five. And slowly and controlled, come back to centre. My back's going to you, gang. Sorry. Swap sides, right hand down, left arm up. Place the knee down if you wish, breathing in and out. Two, three, four. Another breath, five. And with control, bring it down. Back to the vinyasa, breathing in. Exhale to lower knees, chest, chin, or full body, and then inhale through. Cobra or dog, exhale, toes under, down dog. Oh, enjoy the down dog now. Press deep into it. Should feel quite different from the first one we did earlier. From there, lift the heels, lower the knees, come to all fours. And we're going into puppy pose. So ideally keeping knees and hips in line. Give yourself space in front of you, at the front of your mat, and reach the arms forward, but keep the bottom back above the knees, okay? And aiming for that gorgeous length and curve of the spine. Chest might come down, might not. We've all got different flexibility in our spine and the thoracic arch curve. So neither looking forward or resting the forehead down. Breathe deep. I really love this posture. I get quite tight in the thoracic area and the shoulders. And I feel that this really helps to ease it out. Stay there a bit longer if you wish, up to you, or slowly and carefully lift back up, bring the hands back, and then just sink back into a standard child's pose. Hands either in front of you, or one potato, two potato, or you might even like to wrap them around the side of your body and really just relax. Wonderful. Remember these rest periods are just as important as the rest of the practice. They promote recovery, help our progress. You can then really and find your way to sitting. Okay, on to the bottom. Muddy legs out in front for a nice twist. So take the right leg over the top, flex the left foot, draw the knee in towards the chest and then lengthen tall. Right hand back behind you. Bad breathing, reach up. Exhale as you wrap over, twisting over the leg, looking over the right shoulder towards the back of the room. Breathing deep. So think about inhaling to grow tall and then exhale to twist. Keeping the underneath leg activated. Keeping the spine tall and long. Right. And then look into the front of your mat, uh, to the front, sorry, and carefully release. You just take your cow's pose, four feet off, and then release. We'll do second side. So, left leg over, flex the right foot nice and long. Draw the knee into the body, left hand down, breathe in, reach up. Exhale as we wrap and we twist and we look behind it. Again, think about being tall rather than slouching. Keeping in that drawing curve around. If you draw this right elbow back, it can help you twist a little bit further. Should feel quite nice. Another deep breath. 
and when you're ready, look into the front, carefully release, or a little side stretch the other way, and ease off. Okay, draw the knees in. As we're working a lot on strengthening today, we'll do a little bit more here. Just one round though. So hook the toes and roll back and see if you can find your balance. So shoe side on what that looks like. So from here, I'm curved at the moment, but then I'm gonna come back and find a nice, tall, strong spine here. Okay. And then you're gonna lift the legs and draw them closer to you, okay? Now, if you can't reach the feet, you could use a belt or a scarf around the legs and work like that, holding on to uh, the belt or the scarf, okay? So extend, grow tall, breathe deep. Really nice. And we're going to make it a bit more challenging. I'm sure some of you know what we're going to do. We're going to release and hold here, breathe deep. Any pressure on your back, please bend the knees. We've got two more deep breaths here. Really good work. Oh, come on. Well done. Carefully, slowly bend the knees, cross the legs. Hands down, breathe in, lift up. Exhale down. Awesome. Really, really well done. Okay, from here. We're going to carefully lower down. So you can find your own way to lie or you can slowly and control lower through the spine, nice and safe onto your back. Bring the feet closer to the pelvis, about hip distance apart, arms down by the side. We're gonna do a nice bridge here. And we're really gonna focus on strengthening the glutes as we lift up and in the thighs. So, when you're ready, carefully peel the pelvis off and press towards the ceiling. Really think about the lifting from your glutes here. And you can stay here if you wish, or you can clasp the hands underneath you, drawing the shoulder blades closer together. Push through the feet as you lift thighs, pelvis, belly, rib cage, and breathe deep. Try and keep the knees in line. They may want to sway open slightly. But if you press them in towards each other, you'll activate the, the adductors on the inner thighs as well. Two more breaths here. Come on, you got this. One more. And then carefully, slowly lower down, releasing the hands, releasing the shoulder blades, easing off. And give your knees a hug. Fab. Mm. And from here, it's quite nice and natural to come into happy baby. So lifting the feet, opening the uh, knees. So you want the heels above the knees and then trying to reach the inside of the feet with the hands, breathing. And as you breathe out, draw the shoulders down, draw the knees down, draw the pelvis down into the floor. So the body that's underneath you is flat against the mat, as flat as possible. And stay in here if you wish. Obviously, if there's no head, neck, shoulder issues, and you're, you have shoulder stand in your practice, then you can join me in a shoulder stand as well. So. Either stay in happy baby or release and come into a ball. Or from here, rocking the feet over the head, supporting the back with the hands, elbows down. As I say, any issues, you can come back into bridge or you can stay in a nice cozy ball. From there, bend the knees and take the feet up to shoulder stand. And try please to keep your gaze up towards your feet rather than at the camera right now. Protect your neck. And I'd say to stay here for a nice 10 breaths. Really let the blood flow go to the brain, massage the brain. The body shouldn't, well, doesn't have to be in a straight line. It's okay if the feet come over the head slightly. 
the important part of it is the inversion. Wonderful. As adults, we don't really go upside down enough and there's so many benefits to it. From there, I'll stay, as I say, stay a bit longer if you wish, or take feet overhead, find your plow. If the feet come to the floor, you can clasp your hands and find the full plow position. Otherwise, stay supporting the body. And then support the back if you're not already and very slowly unroll. Play safe. Remember, you've not got a uh, teacher in the room with you to help you or support you. So do go with what you feel is a safe option for you today. You can relax down or slowly lower the legs. Oh, they might hover off the floor for a little bit more of work and then release. Oh, fabulous. Bring the knees in, give them a hug. Have a little rock side to side. Oh, right, to finish, let's do some nice twists to release the back. So from here, knees are bent, arms are out. Either take the knees over to the left side and look back towards the right hand, if that's okay for the spine and the neck. More advanced twist, take the right foot onto the left knee, breathe in. As you breathe out, then take them over and you'll feel a bit more higher up in the spine. Either option is okay. So this posture should feel really nice. It should feel like a nice release. Shouldn't be painful. None of it should be painful. It can be challenging, but not pain. Hmm. Just relax into this. You've done the hard work. Time to ease off. Hopefully after this you can go and relax and have a lovely day. Or feel fresh and ready for whatever your day ahead is. From there draw the head centre, bring the knees in. And simply swap sides, either both knees over or foot to knee. Inhale before you go, exhale as you go. Enjoy the twist. Close your eyes if you wish. Well done for actually taking time today to practice. Taking time out from everything else in the world because this is what we need. This is what's good for us, time out. Whether we do a meditative practice or a physically challenging practice, either is great because either gives us that time out and, and cleanses our body, nourishes us. When you're ready, head to centre, knees to centre, release and give the knees another hug. Maybe have a rock from side to side. And then let's just take a moment here, extend the legs, turn the palms of the hands up to face the ceiling. The shoulder blades come a bit closer together and let the feet just flop out. Let the hips relax, the hip flexors are nice and long now, just let them rest in their extension. Maybe close your eyes. Let your jaw be nice and loose. Let your eyes sink down in their sockets and just let go of any facial expression. Allow yourself this extra minute or so to just be in earnest.
Allow yourself to be calm. Allow this moment to spin. Stay here for as long as you wish. Where you want to, when you feel ready, just bring gentle movement back to the knees and toes or pause the video. Opening your eyes, maybe breathe the head from side to side or have a little stretch on through the head mm, and release. Bending your knees and either finding your way onto the side. And we'll sit in, or if you wish, we can take a rock and roll, holding on to the feet, and rock up to seated. It's up to you. Has a bit of fun. Sitting in a comfortable cross leg position here. And once again, we breathe in to take the arms up. And breathe out to bring them down. And one more time, breathing up. This time, bring the hands down to the heart centre. So thank you for practising with me today. And well done for taking the time out that we all need. Um, be with you. Namaste.